I'm always happy when Donald Duck is nominated for an Academy Award for Best Cartoon Short. That was certainly the case with T for 200, which was released in 1948. It didn't win um, the Tom and Jerry short, The Little Orphan one, but to be fair to that short, it is amazing. But this is also pretty incredible, directed by Jack Hanna, um, and includes our usual fantastic voice cast, Clarence Nash, of course, voices Donald Duck, and this time around, Pinto Colvig voices the ants. Now, I don't believe all 200 of the ants have speaking parts, but certainly um, the ants, the animation of the ants is just absolutely, well, incredible in parts and slightly bizarre, which I will talk about in a moment. But the premise for this is really simple. Donald is having a picnic by himself and these ants come along, having detected the food, and decide to go and help themselves. Donald's not going to stand for this, so first of all, he begins to see how much food he can balance on top of one ant. And then things get a little bit out of control and more and more ants start appearing. Who's going to win this? Will Donald enjoy his picnic or will the ants get all the food and triumph? I'm not going to say what happens, but I will say that Donald gets frustrated um, the way he usually does. But he also has a lot of fun when he plays with the ants, um, or toys with the ants, I guess, is more accurate. Um, and I, I really like Donald in this. I'm a big fan of Don Donald Duck, and certainly this is, this is absolutely no exception. I thought he was a lot of fun. I really liked the actual narrative of the ants walking around and grabbing the food. I genuinely didn't know which way it was going to go. Usually with a Donald Duck short, he doesn't win, but sometimes he does, or he learns a lesson and is a happier person for it. I wasn't sure here if he would learn a lesson or if he would be um, triumphed by the ants. Really like the narrative. The ants themselves, as I said, the animation is in part fabulous, but in part a little bit weird. When they are, when we see the whole colony kind of moving forward, they look amazing. We're seeing the formations, the way the animation is done with all of these ants coming scuttling out, I imagine it took a long time because we're talking about a lot of little black dots on shell on cell sheets that would have had to have been replicated a lot. Don't know if they were using Xerox at this point, but it definitely would have been a lot of work. The close-up of the ants, the detail is very good. But they have a very, there's something about the design that seems offensive to a certain culture, but I can't identify what culture it is or why it seems offensive. It's, it's got a kind of weird tribal stereotype to it. Maybe not a specific tribe or, cult, or culture, but there's just something about it that does seem a little bit um, over the top and unnecessary. Not that I'm personally offended, but I just think that definitely there will be some people who may think it's a little bit, um, a little bit too much. But creative, nevertheless. Is it my favourite Donald Duck short? No, no, it isn't. Not that I know what my favourite one is, but I'd certainly say it's high up there. Could be a contender for the top ten. The animation quality is really good. Donald Duck is really pleasing. The ants are great. The animation style is brilliant. I agree that the Tom and Jerry cartoon won, I agree with that, but had T for 200 won the best animated short of that year, I definitely would have understood that. 